Hello everyone, I'm Wurgum, and welcome to the fifth episode of Let's Play Super Mario 63. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, so far we have battled Big Bully in Kamek's castle, which means I've actually gotten myself the Red Shine Sprite today. So, we are going to be going up to the very top floor, the highest echelon of the castle. And I think what my goal is today is to get, uh, how many, yeah, I'll get, I'll go all the way up to 32 Shine Sprites, probably. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, yeah, we're gonna go on Rainbow Ride first. Yeah, I didn't even know this was originally a thing from Super Smash Bros. So yeah, I kind of just learned that recently. That this song was actually ripped from Super Smash Bros. Melee, I believe? It's either Melee or Brawl, but... The more you know, I guess. Well, anyway. I think we're supposed to go all the way to the top today. So yeah, cro Cruiser, Crossing the Rainbow. I think it's the airship at the very top that we're supposed to head towards. So yeah, I... I'm not going to be posting any other uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii stuff right now. As of right now, I'm not going to be... Just not for a while, because I'm actually working on a bigger project. Well, it's actually a whole New Super Mario Bros. Wii mod, but... Yeah, it's a bigger project. It's not just an individual level, and I'll probably be showcasing it and releasing it. It'll be like for Christmas. So yeah, in case any of you guys are curious why I'm not posting anything about New Super Mario Bros. Wii, it's because, well, I'm working on a bigger New Super Mario Bros. Wii project that I expect to release on Christmas. And yeah, I'll probably be releasing the video on Christmas, depending on how things go, you know. I don't have the highest end computer, so... Playing uh, New Super Mario Bros. on the emulator, and there might be some horrible lag. So I'll have to get that thing sorted out. But anyway, I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for what's in store in this mod I'm creating. Hopefully, I learn how to create proper patch files so I can actually release it to the public and let people play it, you know? Because after all, what good is sharing a level if no one else can really play your level? <laughs> I think it might be the first mod I actually probably release publicly. I'll need to figure out how to release it, but... Alright, so we're pretty high now. Alright. Ah, oh, there's the star coin. How many star coins did I miss? I think this is the first star coin I actually got today. Okay, that's star coin 31. I need to get to Star Coin 32, but <laughs> that'll take some time. Then I'll have half the Star Coins in the entire game. Yeah, screw the magic carpet. I mean, I can, I can get there myself. Parkour skills. There's a Shine Sprite. So yeah, it's another, I guess, chill day for me. I get to chill here and play Super Mario 63 with all of you all. I don't know how many of these shine sprites I want to get right now. Ah, oh, tricky triangles. I know where that is. Yeah, if any of you are watching this, uh, I would consider giving feedback. I would consider you give me feedback on how I'm doing right now. How's my commentary? Uh, if you have any advice, if any of you have any good advice for making better commentary. I would love to hear it. I love to hear how I can be a better YouTuber in general. Ah, come on. <sighs> I need to be a little less arrogant. Oh, yeah, I have shift. I can just press shift because that gives us the flood. Oh, yeah. Also, if you... Ah, why am I not using the Flood? <laughs> I 
All right. Come on. Fallen Shy Guy. Who needs the magic carpet when you've got a flood on your side? Also, speaking of leaving comments and feedback, if you also like this video, will you consider leaving a like on it, you know? It all helps. It all helps with me improving. And hopefully improving the experience for all of you. I hope I, I hope it does improve the experience. Just please don't leave any toxic comments. Please don't. Make sure it's constructive criticism if you're criticizing me. Because, you know, ad hominem is just... It's just not a good thing. It doesn't really help people, just puts them on the defensive, so... Okay, here's the area of the tricky triangles. I don't exactly remember how these things look in Super Mario 64. I think in Super Mario 64 what you have is... I think they're essentially the same shape, except they're more of like a triangular prism. They're not an actual like pyramid. I don't know. I haven't ever really played Super Mario 64, so I wouldn't know. Okay. We have these, uh, what are they called? Swings? Oh, let's call them swings. There's probably a better name for them. So yeah, this part's really cool. It's like, it's a timed challenge. You hit the switch, all the triangles turn. You have to hurry the frick up to the top. It's a great challenge. A real great challenge. There's the Koopa shell, and... Nice. Are they gonna turn around when I get the Shrine Sprite? Oh, I got out. Nice. So we're actually... I think we're probably ahead of schedule, probably. I hope we are. Okay. We're going to TikTok clock now. Ah! Gosh. Darn it. Okay. Uh, is there anything down here? Probably not. Nope. There's also a really cool remix, honestly. I honestly still prefer the original Super Mario 64 slider theme over this one. It just... This one just isn't as catchy, or it's just not as, like... It just doesn't hit hard enough. I mean, there's probably a good amount of fans for this one. Ah, okay. There will be consequences for failing platforming. I remember tick hearing that TikTok clock in Super Mario 64 has like kind of an interesting feature to it where if you, well essentially there's a hand on the clock and if you jump in it when the clock, the hand's at a certain like point on the clock, a certain time, uh, it affects the speed of all the different moving platforms. So the spinning things will move at different speeds depending on what time the hand falls on on the clock. Kind of, it's a kind of a really cool secret, actually. I would say. I think it's like at 12 o'clock that the hand, like everything, just freezes. I don't know what utility the different speeds have, though. Honestly, I would think that they probably. It's probably just a fun little secret more than it really is useful for anything, and maybe it helps make platforming easier. Uh, all I want for Christmas is just that. A successful platforming experience without me messing things up. Oh. 
Well, yeah. All right. Nice. Real nice. Okay. Well, there are red coins here, but I think our goal is to get to the top of the tower. I mean, you can literally do these in any order you want, but... I don't know, I'm a boring person. I'm kind of boring. So I'm just gonna go in the conventional orthodox order, I suppose. I don't know how interesting of a person I really am. I think of a lot of... I am really interested by a lot of topics. I don't know if that really makes me interesting or if that just means I talk about interesting things. I don't know. I think we're all a product of our environment, so what really is the difference? I have to wait for the platform now. Oh. I'm also really bad at the whole small talk thing, so I feel like if I actually got better at small talk, maybe I would be better at doing this. Oh god. Please. Okay, forget it. I'm I'm going for this. I'm going for all the red coins. I guess this is rather impromptu, but I guess we kind of settled for something. It's actually pretty easy. I think they probably did a really good job recreating all these levels. Here we go. Oh, nice flipping red coins. Gosh darn it. Oof. Gonna go take this. Is it really that secret? I mean, the sling star is just right there. It's it's really not that special, to be honest. Crazy to think that this game's like literally ten years old at this point. It's really crazy. But, you know, it's just kind of a testament to actually how old I am now, you know? You don't like to think that you're actually that old. I don't know if I like to think I'm an adult or a kid. Maybe I'm in the ambiguous range where I'm legally an adult, but I still feel like I'm a kid. But I mean, technically being an adult is just a social construct that people use to determine people's social role in society. So, I don't know. I am legally an adult, but I guess in terms of roles, I still live in my parents' house. Um, so yeah, I would consider myself an adult, probably. Or no, a kid. I really don't know. I don't know. I could even open an OnlyFans and like be a sex worker if I wanted to. I'm, that's technically legal. But like, I'm still kind of a kid, you know. I could go with the whole tag barely legal, but like, <laughs> it kind of seems a little messed up when people say that barely legal. It almost implies that like you would want to do something that's illegal, you know. It implies you want to do something that way. And I mean, not all laws are fully just and good. Some laws maybe you're morally justified to actually break, but I would still not suggest breaking them. I don't know. The whole saying of eat the rich, where people feel morally justified, like it's morally justifiable to kill a rich person to give to the poor. Well, that's technically illegal because that's murder, but maybe it's morally justifiable. If you're thinking in a certain moral framework. Oh yeah, being an adult. I don't know, the scary thing about being an adult is uh, I'm kind of subject to, the, to capital punishment now. Which means in theory I could be executed by the state legally if I do something really heinous. I don't think I'm going to do anything very heinous. But you never know. I mean, after all, I am 18, so I have the full legal jurisdiction, or full legal treatment of an adult, but I still can't drink alcohol. Oh yeah, 
I mean, I'm in the U.S. We have capital punishment here. At least in certain states, we have capital punishment. To be honest, the place I think of when I hear about capital punishment is Texas or Florida. Those are the two places. Oh, no. Okay, I have to do the whole thing over. Sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. Alright, let's go up here again. Sorry about the inconvenience. I forgot that actually I have no more lives left, so... Yeah, I was kind of screwed there, but... I'm back. Oh yeah, capital punishment, it's really crazy to think that I could be subject to capital punishment in certain circumstances. I mean, if you're a minor, like, you kind of are protected in a certain way, but... Once you're an adult, well, crap, if you break a law and commit a felony, you kind of, you get the full force of the law, bucko. It's just not a very nice situation to be in. I don't think anyone would want to be charged with a felony. Well, hopefully the DMCA thing that's being pushed in Congress doesn't pass, because then... What I do could technically become a felony, and that... I don't want to be a felon. I don't think any of you want to be felons either. So... Well, I mean, it's already been voted on, so I don't really have any of the information there. Oh yeah, copyright law kind of screwed up sometimes. I think copyright law is good in certain ways, but it's really horrible right now. It kind of destroys people's ability to be creative, because... Oop. Sorry, you used two seconds of our song, therefore we claim all your money. Not that that really is what's happening with me right now, because I don't earn any money for this. But other much bigger YouTubers who make money, if you get a DMCA strike, you kind of are... You're kind of left with the short end of the stick, honestly. So yeah, I don't want to be charged with any felony. I don't think any of you want to be charged with felonies. I don't think anyone does. And quite frankly, there are already too many people in jail, at least in the US. Yeah. We have an overcrowded prison population in the US, so... Yeah. We should probably release a few people. I think at the very least the non-violent offenders should be released. If not, maybe some other people should. No, oh yeah, I'm an adult, uh, but I don't have a job. I don't have a driver's license either, which is kind of weird. I know in other places people don't really drive, but in the U.S., we drive a lot. And it's kind of problematic if you don't have a driver's license, and yet I'm almost, like, I'm becoming closer to turning 19, so I'm pretty much almost a year late to that game. Yeah. February of next year, and I'm 19. Crazy to think, huh? I must also be a very old dinosaur, because all I play are old games. I've not, I've not played any new games. I'm probably gonna cut that segment out of me platforming up here. Please, I wanna make sure this is the last time I actually have to do it. Nice. Uh, hopefully that shy guy doesn't bother me or anything like that. Oh, 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 nice. I'm close. Yes. Okay. We did it, folks. We got another shine sprite. And it's about time.
No! Do I have to start it all over? Okay, no. That just sacrificed a life, that's all. I'm alright. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I have all the stars. It's... It's really not that big of a deal. If I had to start the whole thing over, I would be... I would be furious, you know. I know it don't sound very expressive, but... I do get emotional sometimes. Even though I don't show my emotion a whole lot. Ah, 29, okay. Three more until we've reached the goal. I'm actually gonna go to Babam Battlefield this time. We gotta play a few of the older levels. I mean, we gotta bring them into the fold. Okay, okay silver stars. Easy peasy. Lime squeezy. I suppose. We're not collecting red coins this time. Maybe I should be careful about how much information I give you people. It's kind of personal information to talk about my age and all that. About my identity. Someone could probably triangulate and figure out my true identity. And maybe at some point I might reveal who what my true identity is, but... For now, I'm gonna be going by this pseudonym called Wurgum. So... Don't you dare ask me what my name is, because I'm not giving it to you. And if you are someone who happens to know me or recognize my voice, well, good for you. Good for you all. If you happen to find this video, if you happen to actually watch it. Okay, fifth one. That was pretty easy and quick. Nice. 30. I think there's one extra star coin I actually want to get right now that's in the castle. I'm gonna go get it real quick. And actually maybe along the way also I should probably explore the castle a little more, get some more of those uh, secret Secret stars, as they're called. Uh, secret courses, I guess, is what they're technically. Well, here we are. What I always found fascinating is how this wall was... This thing was walled off until I got five. It's like, how does an entire chamber just suddenly appear? How does the wall just disappear? Oh, nice, okay. This is kind of a little too obvious, Runo. Oh, special prize. Oh, is it you can now play as Luigi? Oh, come on, I have 32 star points, okay. Well, we're gonna go back there and actually see. I think it's Luigi. I love Luigi, you know? I said that kind of weirdly, but I do love Luigi. Luigi just has a better temperament than Mario, you know? That's why I kind of like Luigi better. I would probably wouldn't want to be friends with Luigi more than I would with Mario. Oh. So instead of actually having to complete the entire game, then play the game as Luigi, they actually give us Luigi halfway through, which is pretty cool. Oh, you call this castle Secret Star. How creative. Yeah, how creative. Alright, do we want to read this sign? Yeah, let's go. Welcome to Magma Maze. Let's see if you can navigate these passages of lava enemies in water before you lose your mind. Yeah, thank you, Cyan, but I don't consent to losing my mind, so I'll keep it, thank you. I'll keep it. Yeah. Perhaps another thing that I can improve in my commentary is I'm a little too deadpan sometimes. I'm not expressive enough. Just... Maybe if I change the pitch of my voice, it might improve the way people perceive me, I don't know. 
Or I could talk like this. Very deep voice. Or a very high voice. Oh, what's here? Oh, up a gobble. Oh, I didn't even touch the lava. That's just, that's pog. I didn't even need to touch the lava, I'm happy. Well, at least I'm happy for Luigi, his butt's fine. He doesn't have any scars or blisters. Yeah, no blister but Luigi, I guess, is the name of the game. Yeah, these bullies, not bullies, these bullets are real weak, you know. I would have thought you would be nicer, or you'd be meaner, wouldn't you? Oh. Sometimes just diving down is a very efficient way of doing things really quickly. So yeah, we want to go to the left now, that's where the Shine Sprite actually is. I mean, it's supposed to be like kind of a little infuriating, but... You eventually figure things out after you get all the different floods and you can access different areas. But yeah, the Shine Sprite's gonna be in this direction. We need the Turbo Flood to go against the water current here. Otherwise, you're just gonna be pushed back and you're not gonna be able to reach this area. Which is why you also need to complete the first Bowser level before you can actually beat this level. Otherwise, you don't have those floods unlocked. Well, Magma Maze, we have one more Shine Sprite before I think I'm going to wrap it up. I think I plan to make Bowser's Castle one entire episode, because it's going to be a very long level, you know. Very, very long. I think I've actually done all the Castle Secret Stars, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Well, I'm actually going to go for one of Bowser's levels. I'm going to get the red coins here. pretty cool music. I could just probably sing it all, you know? A fun thing I like to do when I listen to music is I like to sing the bass line, the harmony, just well, an accompanying part to the melody, because everyone sings the melody, you know? I think non-melody parts have their own merits. I mean, sure, the melody gives you something to remember, but that melody isn't really anything without its, uh, foundation, you know? Did I miss some red coins? I might have. Probably did, yeah. I need to go back. Oh yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's on top. That's right. I think... Hold on, and then there's one below, isn't there? Oh yeah, there's one here. Okay. I think we're on track to get them all now. Nice. Hubble gobble. I just love Luigi. He's a great friend, I guess. Mario's just not a very nice brother to Luigi. I sometimes wish Luigi got better treatment. He's just... He's a really sweet person. But no one ever really appreciates that about him. You know? And I mean, he clearly admires Mario, which makes me wonder. He's kind of in a, like, a... Stockholm Syndrome sort of relationship, I guess. I don't know if Stockholm Syndrome is the right word for it, but it's kind of kind of seems a bit dysfunctional, honestly. I don't know if she, we should romanticize people in dysfunctional relationships, though. That's kind of messed up. Because, yeah, a lot of people are in dysfunctional relationships and, well, they don't ever talk about it, you know? When I talk about dysfunctional relationships, I'm not just talking about, like, romantic partner kind of thing, but, like, family members can, it can be dysfunctional there, too. I mean, well, obviously. Most people, when they think of dysfunctional relationships, they think of, like, intimate partner violence or something, but there's kind of more to it, you know? Sometimes you can have abusive parents, abusive siblings, abusive acquaintances in general okay now where did the last coin go is it down at the bottom 
Is that where it is? Is that what I'm missing? Oh god, yeah, of course. You know, I think I'm lucky I don't live... I don't have really any dysfunctional relationships. I do sometimes think though I'm not really close enough with my family and close enough with friends. I don't really have a whole lot of friends given the current pandemic. I'm not a very social person either, so... But yeah, it can really mess up someone to be stuck in a bad place with a bad circle of people, you know? It messes with people's ability to make the most out of their lives. Which is something I don't really want. I want people to be happy, I want people to... live the life they want to live, honestly. As long as it isn't hurting other people. Be who you want to be, you know? Well, anyway, uh, that, I think this is where I wrap up the episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, we unlocked that. We unlocked the final level. Well, not really the final level, but anyway, this is the end. So if you like this video, uh, leave a thumbs up and a like. If you don't like it, feel free to leave it. Leave a dislike. If you like my content in general, consider subscribing. And. I think that's it. Uh, I bid you all farewell.